so now we will see counters in css for automatic numbering so guys basically css counters are variables which are maintained by css whose values can be incremented by css rules to track how many times they are used and guys this we are going to check with the help of examples as well so counters let you adjust the appearance of content based on its placement in the document so guys basically we are going to have certain list of values for which we are not going to have the numbers inside our html code but we will be using certain css rules in order to number those list of items so guys let us move to the vs code in order to check the example of counters in css over here so simply i am going to remove the previous lines of code from the html and the css files that we have written now guys inside our html file what we are going to do is first of all we are going to have the h1 tag over here and we will say below are some of the programming languages so guys basically we have this particular header that is below are some of the programming languages and let us have certain programming languages inside the h2 tag over here so guys basically inside the h2 tag we will have certain programming languages so let's say we have the first programming language as java and then let's say we have python as the second programming language and then we have c plus plus and then let's say we have c sharp over here so guys basically we have these four programming languages inside the h2 tag let me just save this file now and try reloading this page on the browser so guys as you can see we have the h1 tag and then followed by the h2 tags which are having the name of the programming languages over here now guys let us say we want to number all these programming languages in such a way that the first language is java and then the second language in the list is python and then we have third language as c++ and fourth language is c sharp so the first option is to use the numbers inside the html code over here but guys we don't want to use that so the other option is to use the css counters over here now guys how do we use the css counter let us check that so inside our style.css file which is attached to this html file over here with the help of the link tag what we will do is first of all we will define the body tag in this case and then we have the css property which is counter reset in this case so guys basically we use the counter reset css property in order to define a variable so guys let us say we provide the name of the variable as number so guys basically this variable we are going to use in order to provide the numbers to all these programming languages that we have displayed on the ui so guys what we are going to do is after this we have to provide the tag before which we want to provide the number so guys basically what tag we have used over here in order to display the programming languages we have used the h2 tag over here so guys basically we will use the h2 tag and then we have to use the pseudo element that is before so guys two times colon we have to use followed by the before keyword in this case so guys basically the meaning of this is whatever content we provide inside the curly braces for this particular selector that content will be displayed over here before the content of the h2 tag in this case so guys what we have to do is inside this particular h2 tag for which we have the pseudo element that is before we have to use the counter increment css property so guys basically we use this counter increment css property and we use the same variable that is number over here so simply we are going to set the variable that is number and then guys after this we have to use the content in this case so this is the css property that we will be using which is content over here which will set this particular number before the h2 tag which is displaying these programming languages so guys over here inside the content we will be using the function that is counter in this case so guys basically this counter is a function which will take one parameter and we are going to pass this number as the parameter over here so guys this is the function that is counter and instead of this name we are going to provide number over here so guys basically what will happen is automatically the number will start from one and then for the second programming language two will be displayed and then we have three and then four so guys after providing the number we also have to provide certain space or the dot character as well 
cell so after this counter function we provide the space character followed by double quotes and let's say we provide a dot character and then followed by space so guys after this space the name of the programming languages will be displayed over here as we can see in this particular web browser right now so guys let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see the counters are helping us in order to provide the numbers to all these programming languages and this is how you can provide the counters in the CSS in order to provide the numbers to the list of items based on your project requirements guys you can also change the format over here after the number so let's say instead of the dot character we can also provide hyphen over here so instead of the dot character in this case let us have a space character followed by hyphen and then the space character again so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see we have the hyphen character in this case instead of the dot character apart from this we can also provide this number in the square brackets as well so let us remove these formatting over here and let's say we provide the open square bracket first of all so simply inside the double quotes we provide the open square brackets and then after this we have the space character and then we will be having the number and then let's say we have the square bracket over here which is ending so we have the closing square bracket in this case and then let's say followed by the space character after which the programming language should be displayed in this case so let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser also so as you can see these are the numbers that are getting displayed over here so guys based on your project requirements and the format in which you want to display the numbers you can display them by using this counter method and providing the variable name that you have provided inside the counter reset now guys apart from this we can also have the nested counter so let us check the example of the nested counters in css so what we will do is let's say inside this h2 tag we have certain paragraph tag over here so simply we will say p tag and then we will say this is some test data so guys basically inside each programming language we will have certain pointers to be displayed and for testing purpose we are simply providing this test data over here so let's say we have these two paragraph over here inside the java programming language and then let's say we have these three paragraphs inside the python programming language and apart from this let us say we have one paragraph inside c++ language and two paragraphs over here inside the c sharp language let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see we have certain pointers over here after each programming languages now guys we also want to number these pointers inside the programming languages so what we have to do is we need to provide another counter variable so guys inside the style.css first of all after the body tag what we will do is we want to provide the numbers inside these programming languages which are defined by using the h2 tag over here so simply we have to use the h2 tag in this case and we can provide the variable by using the counter reset and this time instead of providing the variable name as number we will say sub number over here so guys basically it is going to be a number like 1.1 or 1.2 in this case and so on so guys basically we use the counter reset css property once again and we provide the variable name as sub number over here and then guys what we have to do is we need to use the p tag followed by the pseudo element that is before that's because we are using the paragraph tag over here and before the content of this paragraph tag we want to display the number over here so simply we use the p tag followed by two times colon and then we will use the before pseudo element and then guys what we have to do is again we have to use the counter increment css property and this time we will be using this sub number variable so let me just copy this and paste this over here for the counter increment css property and then after this we have to use the content css property property so guys over here first of all we will have to use the number variable so that this particular number that is one can be displayed followed by dot and the sub number should be displayed after that so basically we use the counter function once again over here so we say counter and then instead of name we will be using the number and then guys after this we want the dot character so let's say we provide dot character over here followed by space and this time we will be using the counter function once again and over here instead of name 
we will be using sub number this time because that is the counter that we want to display for all the sub points inside the programming languages that we are displaying on the web browser so guys this is the sub number that we are using so basically this is the format the first number that is one will be displayed followed by dot and the sub number that is one will be displayed so 1.1 will be displayed for this particular point over here followed by 1.2 for this particular point over here and then guys for the python programming language 2.1 will be displayed followed by 2.1 and then followed by 2.2 and then followed by 2.3 so guys let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see we have the numbers that is 1.1 then 1.2 and then for the points inside the python programming language we have 2.1 2.2 2.3 and so on so guys over here we have missed out the space to be provided over here so simply we can provide the space character inside the double quotes in this case let me just save this file now and try reloading this page once again on the browser so as you can see the space characters are now getting displayed over here so for the c++ programming language we have 3.1 as the pointer and then for the fourth language that is c sharp we have 4.1 and then followed by 4.2 over here so guys in this way you can provide the auto numbering with the help of the counter method over here inside the css file in this case so guys comment in the comment section below whether you have learned something out of this video please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to the channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is the length units in css so stay tuned